In this episode, I go over how you can help Splinterlands and Hive Games in general overcome one of their biggest obstacles. If this has piqued your interest, please stand by. Welcome back, all you Splinterheads. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. First off, right off the bat, I want to give a shout out to KGM Jam because this whole video was spawned off an idea he's had. Um, and I've been watching his videos and he's been talking about it for, I don't know, uh, maybe a month or so. And when he originally started talking about it, I wanted to do a video, but I started thinking about it and I didn't know exactly where I wanted to go with it because I know that I wanted to take his idea and kind of uh, take it a little bit further. Um, his idea is for um, Splinterlands YouTubers to uh, basically band together and help each other get new subscribers, um, get likes, subscribes things of this nature. And he, at the end of his video each time, or during his video, um, he always mentions uh, like almost every Splinterlands uh, creator's name, okay? So first of all, uh, shout out to him. Now, in the show notes, I'm going to be including a long list of links to all the Splinterlands creators that I know of. And I did take this list directly off of him. So um, if it needs updating, if you find somebody new that needs added to the list, please let me know and I will add them. Okay, so uh, next, um, my thought process from there went to the fact that one of the major hurdles that Splinterlands has, and you know most uh, blockchain games in general have, is marketing. One of the things that I've said since I started playing is they need better marketing. Now, there's been a number of different things going uh, over the years and uh, to better or lesser success. But the fact of the matter is right now, the team, uh, as far as I know, isn't putting a lot of or any money into marketing. Um, we do have that TV show, uh, the Wales TV show that's coming out. And uh, there was a great uh, interview um, on SHQ uh, the other night. Uh, you can check that out with Aggie um, Gaming Collectibles, where he talks about that. Um, but other than that, there's not a whole lot out there. So with that in mind, and thinking about what uh, KGM was saying, my mind went off on a tangent, like it does sometimes. And I thought to myself, you know, most of us um, Splinterlands YouTubers are on the small side, okay? Even the largest uh, Splinterlands YouTuber is still a small YouTuber compared to others, you know. But... After this last week, where we had a kind of a team effort, it, yes, there were a lot of giveaways uh, involved because we know people love giveaways, right? But a team effort between uh, several different Splinterlands uh, YouTubers, creators, equaled me getting a lot of subscribers. And um, overall, the idea is to get it more into the YouTube algorithm, okay? So the idea, my idea, is that it is better for Splinterlands and other uh, uh, blockchain games in general, especially on Hive, that the more we can push videos out and get subscriptions, likes, subscribes, comments on all these videos, the higher we can push it out there and get into the YouTube algorithm, the more front pages we pop up on with Splinterlands news, the more we can get the news out to people about the game, okay? this is. Advertising. We're basically the advertising team for Splinterlands. Now, we all cover it in a different manner. So I'm going to pop up a graphic here. Let's go ahead and turn on this. So this is my list, uh, which I took it off of KGM. Um, and I will have all their links in the show notes. But my idea process is that you as a single solitary user are just one person but if we all do this this is a large mob that can extrapolate the numbers and all i'm thinking all that you need to do we all watch youtube uh videos about i, I probably watch five or six videos from different content creators on splinterlands on a daily basis 
And if you just make sure that you're subscribed to them, that you like the video, and leave a comment. It, you could like the video. You might not even uh, agree with what they say. But leave a comment and leave uh, a reason why. Okay? Because as a YouTube creator, I fully know, not about, in fact, um, a large portion of people don't agree with me, but that's what makes it great because we all have different opinions. Every single person on this list covers Splinterlands in a different way. We don't all look at it the same way. Our minds all work differently. We have different personalities. We have different concentrations. Some people on this list love strategy in the game. Some people in this list like talking about it all. Some people are very positive and very gangbusters on the game. Some people are more reserved and very, um, you know, maybe a little bit more critical. But the fact of the matter is, everyone on this list, I would be, uh, I would go out on a limb say, uh, to say that everyone on this list wants Splinterlands to succeed and be a great game. We all want this game to do well and to attract a lot more people, okay? Otherwise, guess what? We would not be using our time to do videos on it, okay? So a lot of people accuse me of casting salt. I think that I just like to be very practical about things, whereas some other people look at it very... Um, are at the top of the game, spending a lot of money, very into it. That's fine. It takes us all, right? But my point is getting everyone together, and my challenge is to you, okay? My challenge is to you to make sure that you're subscribed to everyone on this list. And not only that, make sure that when you're watching somebody's video, put a like on it. Make sure you're subscribed and put a comment, like I said earlier, okay? This all helps pushing Splinterlands, the Splinterlands topic and Hive Gaming in general, if it's not even Splinterlands, if it's one of the other games we cover, to put it towards the top of the algorithm, get it on that front page, more front page, YouTube front pages for people, okay? I'm certain that this will help. Now, will it help as much as a large million dollar ad campaign? Probably not. Will it help as much as this big uh, uh, TV show that's going out? Probably not, but it's what we can do. And we can get together as a team of smaller YouTubers and make a change, okay? So that was the challenge um, for everyone, whether a YouTuber, whether you are just you just watch YouTube videos on the topic, we all want Splinterlands to succeed, okay? Um, if you don't want to, if you don't want Splinterlands to succeed, why are you watching these videos? You know. So that's my challenge to you. And the whole thought process went off of his idea of sharing this list. I think that obviously you might say, "Oh, he's pandering for more subscriptions." Not really. Does it help me out? Yeah, sure. I want to get more uh, subscribers. Who doesn't? That's the reason why you get into. Uh, well, you know, it's a side effect of getting into. Uh, YouTube and uh, trying to make your channel bigger, right? But the whole idea is to get the Splinterlands name out there and get more popularity behind it to get more people in the game. There it is. What do you think? Leave your comments in the show notes and I'll uh, answer you back. Um, other than that, the challenge gauntlet has been thrown. This has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side. Oh, hopefully I will see you tomorrow, the 24th of February at 1130 Eastern Time, where I will be giving away two Rage cards. Be present. Be uh, ready to discuss some Splinterlands and other uh, Hive gaming topics, and uh, we'll draw two cards tomorrow, 1130 Eastern Time. Be there, be square. Thank you.